Hey, this is Billboard, and you should know me, Lauren Daigle. I grew up in Lafayette, Louisiana, in the Deep South. My first job was babysitting at 11 years old, um, and then grew from there to Smoothie King, and then I worked in a bakery making king cakes, which, if you know anything about Louisiana, Mardi Gras is like the best time of year, and one of the things that we love to eat is king cake. So I worked there for like just a two-week season rolling dough. If a genie granted me a wish right now, what would I wish for? I really want to start some nonprofit organizations like for children's and, children and orphanages and just around the world. So probably something in the philanthropic area. If someone were to play me in a movie, I would love for it to be Jennifer Lawrence because that girl's pretty awesome. The last TV show I binged watch, classic, This Is Us. Yeah, I'm not much of a TV watcher, but that had me sucked in and crying every day. Selena Gomez, it's funny, she actually posted the video of her on her Instagram story, like singing to Look Up Child in the car and I'll miss it, someone in front of her. She actually texted me because our managers exchanged phone number, exchanged our phone numbers. And um, it was the, one of the most beautiful texts. She is a true gem. And we've kind of just, been friends through text messages and like sending voice memos to each other or um, sending videos and just funny things like that to each other. One of the most special things about finding out that Look Up Child was number three on the Billboard charts was also seeing who it was surrounded by. You work all year long to try to maybe gain some of that momentum, um, some of that excitement and to see the work and the effort of not only me, but my entire team uh, pay off. And to see the insane response from the fans and the crowds and their support, it was truly humbling. The entire thing was like, what is going on? This is pretty special. If my life was a book, the title would be How to Live Like a Child in an Adult Proof World. <laughs> <laughs> the first song that I wrote was when I was five years old, it rained outside and I saw dirt mixed with water and I said, mom, it looks like chocolate milk. And she said, oh, you should come inside and write about it. So I wrote, she like made this booklet and I wrote like poetry lyrics about chocolate milk as a five year old. <laughs> My biggest musical inspirations they kind of have a vast range, but Aretha Franklin, Roberta Flack, Amy Winehouse, Celine Dion, Whitney Houston, Adele. Um, man, there's so many. I love Frank Sinatra, um, Ella Fitzgerald. Yeah, the list is long, but beautiful. Why should people listen to my music? because um, I think the message is one of hope and unity. And right now we're in crazy times in the world and I think that people want to have love to hold on to. They wanna have truth to hold on to. They wanna be able to sit next to someone and not feel like everyone is a stranger in the world. And I think that this music has a connectability to it where um, people don't feel alone. They feel identified, they feel known when they hear it. That's some of the response that I'm getting, um, which is just insanely beautiful. Like I've read comments about people saying, you know, I was going to commit suicide, but then I heard this song and it completely changed me. And then other people commenting under, well, I'm, I'm suicidal, can someone help me? And you're, it's watching this like unity form between people who don't even know each other because the sound is, is transcendent. And so, I think for me, that's the best gift and also why people should listen.